Hey, this is Lorena. <laughs> and I... Sorry. We're going to do another work day. Today we're going to be semi-customing this quilt. It is custom, but I'm going to let the computer do some of the work. Thank you, Jesus. Because <laughs> this quilt is big. This quilt is 111, maybe, by 106. She is large. And you know those right there? I'm going to be it's the quilting those. Like, I'm going to be quilting this area. All right. One of the things that I love about custom quilting, I guess you'll practice on. This is my second Lone Star quilt. The first one felt like complete chaos. But this one feels like I know what the heck I'm doing. Look how beautiful those lines are. I know how to place the ruler. I know how to travel. There's a little bobbles, but in the whole group scheme of things, it's beautiful. Um, I'm gonna roll the quilt. And honestly, since I just did a Lone Star quilt, this one is going so much faster. It just seems like I'm not doubting myself. I know what to do, how to travel throughout this quilt. I know how to do my stopping points and my starting points. Um, I'm gonna start here and go down. Look how beautiful those line look. Those lines look in the back. Um, I am using a darker thread, so it's kind of scary. I am getting a bit of bloopers, so I need to tighten my top tension a bit, like right here. But I know how to fix that. But uh look how clean the line work is i was stressing out like going crazy like oh my god i'm gonna do another one and uh wow it's going so fast last time when i did just one side it took me like most of the day um this one's only taking me like 30 minutes what a difference me my hair goes crazy what a difference i'm so excited look at that so we're gonna keep working Good morning. It's well, it's not really morning. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. But I guess it's I guess what I determine to be my morning. I spent one day doing the computerized stuff and then basting the whole quilt. I spent one day. Then yesterday to do the two stars, the two points, it only took me probably like an hour. And then I started working on the center and that probably took me, which were these two points and the center, probably took me an hour and a half, maybe two hours. So in three hours, I was able to quilt the star section. So today, that's what I'm gonna work on next. What I like about this process to this time, it's my lines are straighter. Someone also on YouTube and my Facebook group, I'm not sure which one, and if it's you, thank you, who told me to lower my machine lower. Now, I'm still having to stretch and hunch, but the blessing is because the machine is a lot lower, it's not as much stress. Now, yesterday, after three hours of doing this, my back started to fry. The neat thing is you can work on the settings on your phone and on the GoPro. Like you can see my eyeballs. <laughs> okay, it's time procrastinating. I should be working right. Um, don't judge me. So we're gonna put this on the long arm so you can see how I stitch and see my wobbles and stuff. But let's work.
As you can tell, I'm trying to, I'm procrastinating <laughs> because I don't want to start working. I have done all these vertical ups and downs. I need to work this down and work all of these down and then I'm completely finished with the star. And then after that, I was gonna start working on this panel here. And then my hope is to go ahead and quilt this border. I did all the borders. It doesn't even matter right now. I'm not in the mood to film. But it is what it is. But whatever. I'm done. Yesterday, I was just done. <laughs> this quilt is getting it, getting all my strength and effort and energy. And, uh, you know. I thought that I would finish probably two days ago and it just hasn't been happening. She's a grind guys. If you're doing custom quilting and it looks so beautiful and you want to get a long arm quilting business and you're thinking you're going to be doing all this beautiful custom work and you just don't know, you don't know the experience. So I don't have to unstitch this because it was misaligning. can't believe it. And then yesterday, I wasn't stitching over here because it was misaligning. I was like, dang. This is what a quilt looks like. I have a lot of starts and stops. I mean, to do a quilt like this, you have to have stops and starts. I annually quilt all of this. Then see if I could get my computer to work because yesterday this was a debacle. I just finished her. I still need to clean the back of the quilt. My hair exposes the events that happened today. Oh God, I'm so tired. This quilt, I think any custom quilt just takes everything out of you. But wow, 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 wow. I can't believe how pretty it looks. <sighs> okay. <laughs> At that current moment, <laughs> when I saw this footage, it just made me crack up. <laughs> because it just said it all. It was that kind of day, that kind of week. And just, I don't know, editing this film just made me so happy because so I wanted you to see in what context I was behaving that way. I don't wanna throw stuff. I don't wanna go crazy, but maybe just those <laughs> huffs and sounds is a way of me releasing a bit of the pressure. I, it just made me crack up right now and it was hilarious to me. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you on the next quilt. All right, bye. <laughs>